Suhail al-Shamari has spent nearly a decade waiting to tell his tale of torture in a court of law. Uh, he said, you know, forced nudity, where they, they stripped me nude and then they, they shaved me uh, completely bald. He was held for two months inside Iraq's notorious Abu Ghraib prison, about the time these now infamous pictures were taken. He doesn't appear in them, but he says he too was stripped naked, given electric shocks, sexually assaulted, beaten with a baton, choked, and threatened with death. Now, a U.S. federal court in Virginia has ruled he cannot make his claim in an American court. The court ruled it has no authority to judge alleged crimes that occurred in a sovereign nation. And it says the U.S. coalition provisional authority that was then ruling Iraq gave defense contractors, like the one accused in this case, immunity from lawsuits. On one side is a multi-billion dollar defense contractor with a firm of 500 lawyers. On the other, four Iraqis with two suburban Detroit attorneys and a handful of volunteers funded by donations, many of them from Arab Americans here in metropolitan Detroit. Earlier courts had said the U.S. has sovereign immunity and cannot be held legally accountable. But al-Shamari and three other Iraqis found another target. They hired Michigan lawyer Sharif Akil to sue CACI, the U.S. defense contractor hired to carry out interrogations at Abu Ghraib. When America does, uh, does good, it gets rewarded. But when America does bad, you know what? There is a system in place to hold the tortures uh, accountable. The men who brought the suit are al-Shamari, a teacher, Taha Rashid, a construction worker, Assad al-Zubai, a farmer, and Salah al ijaili who, after being jailed, became a reporter for Al Jazeera's Arabic language network. Each says he was picked up near the scene of a bombing or explosion. All were eventually released without charge. We asked CACI to comment on the case. The company did not respond. Nearly a decade after the incidents that tarnished the name of Abu Ghraib and the U.S. government, the Iraqis say they will continue to seek justice. But unless a higher court overrules the federal judge in Virginia, the Iraqis who accuse the U.S. of torture will never get their day in court. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Troy, Michigan.